Welcome back to episode 28 of Let Greatest is Let's Play Modded Minecraft series. It is Christmas Eve and all were sleeping. Well, it's noon here now, so maybe not. Um, yeah, so I'm just recording this episode. <clears throat> this is a couple of days ahead, um, or rather the... I'm a couple of days ahead of the episodes as they come out, so by this point it's probably going to be Boxing Day or the day after that for everyone there and if you don't know what Boxing Day is it's an English thing but it's the day after Christmas Day hopefully it's just in English if it's worldwide that's really going to sound rather, rather silly um <laughs> what are we going to do today uh well uh, I think more farms or at least some more ingenious farming methods we've obviously got our enderpearl farm there that works really quite well uh, enderpearls um, we have 1,800 of them, which is nice. Um, but we want to go a bit further. This is why this new part of the base is. I've started with a control sensor, although I'm going to move them. Behind these are just wireless transmitters on particular frequencies. This one, there are many receivers for this. If I flip this down, it shuts off blood magic. So if the worst should happen, and... It really isn't hurt at the moment. Um, I can shut it off before it depletes all my mana from all of the um, the ritual of the nether, serenade of the nether. And that one, we'll come back to that one. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but probably best to show you why I, um, I'm not going to have a problem with witches. So... While doing other things and carving out new areas of the base, I kind of forgot to turn off my witch spawner. Dun 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 dun. Yeah, <laughs> they're a, they're a, they're a little little you know short of space in there, but hey, it works. <laughs> Um, yeah, so, uh, I, I'm not going to have a problem with witches anytime soon. Um, aside from that, uh, little mistake from, from my part. I'm not going in there and killing them all, uh, again, by the way, I, 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 no, I, no. I'll be, uh, poisoned from here to eternity. Um, yeah, I think today we're going to get started with some more Batania stuff, including an update I think um, in the Die Wolf 1.0.3 pack 1.0.3 yeah, pack um, but we'll get to that in a little while, first of all I want to show you this and I didn't know the Christmas boxes uh, were available on Christmas Eve, but maybe it's Christmas Day already somewhere, well it's noon here so New Zealand probably, anyway we got a hop hock, just like we got over there, and this one, you definitely want an item frame with whatever you're going to try and automate here, uh, because this hop hock ripped all of the, uh, <laughs> ripped all of my ender seeds when they next when they got broken through this wall. It's three thick. Um, I, I've I've no idea. They must just be you know magical, not even requiring line of sight or anything. So I could probably shut that hop hock off entirely behind a wall. Uh, which is kind of appealing thought. Um, uh, can certainly put a cover on it. Yeah. Anyway, so you definitely want an item frame here to restrict what that hop hock is going to do. We've got a mana pool in front of it and a box behind it. We've got another box here. What's going to happen is, whatever I put in this first box, what I wanted to happen is pull in and start dropping, and I'll, I'll show you that in a minute, but start dropping onto the mana pool. Remember we have that conjuration catalyst that I have in the other building that I can manually use to duplicate it uh, certain items. As long as, you know, I, I'm using up mana by doing it, I'm which is using up blood magic in turn, which is killing witches. So it's appropriate that given that most people use a witch farm to create glowstone, that I'm indirectly doing the same. I'm I'm... Getting them to donate life points um, <laughs> in order to make more glowstone. They don't have to drop anything. They can stay there. They can stay alive. We aren't killing them. All is good with ethics, apart from damaging things. Yeah. 
So how this is set up is, I have this chest, picking up only glowstone, set the hop hook right this time. This always pulls out on green, it sends it around here, into green, which is this chest. Red, on the other hand, isn't set at all, it's set to only when I receive a redstone signal will it start pulling. There's a red alloy wire, which will transmit the, red alloy, the, the signal. And up here, we have the open crate. It's just seven pieces of uh, living wood in a kind of table shape in a, in a crafting grid. Um, the open crate special ability is that when it drops something, the hopper hot can't immediately grab it. It has to wait a small amount of time before it does so. So, um, I think that may have to be enabled though by a red, maybe a redstone signal. Let's have a look. Uh, hopper hot, it's functional flora. Um, not hoppercock, sorry, it's the open crate. Uh, natural apparatus, open crate. When given a redstone signal, any items it drops are prevented from being caught by flowers for around 10 seconds more than usual. So what I should do is up here... Uh, oh. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, no, that should be, no, that'd be fine. I just maybe caught it and went into my devnil. Never mind. Thought I'd lost a block there somewhere. Put a block of redstone, and that gives it a redstone signal. So it's still going to continually drop stuff, though. This isn't like um, one of the other items you can get, uh, one of the other blocks, I should say, is the item dropper. That needs a redstone pulse to drop each item. Which, you know, you can set it with that if you like. I'm controlling it a little bit differently, um, but you require redstone pulsing behavior then. So you're still going to have to set up some kind of circuitry, uh, even if it's only a redstone clock to, to drop stuff. This, on the other hand, will just drop everything. So what should happen is you, it should drop, have time to hit the mana pool, which has a conjuration catalyst underneath it, which the hopper hope then pick up 10 seconds later, put in here, and around it goes. The, the real control for this system, because if I had no control, it would just, I, I could put one glowstone in there and it would literally just go boof and keep going through, <laughs> even if this mana pool was empty, it would just keep dropping and dropping and dropping. Um, <laughs> that, that's, that's a problem. So we do have to, um, we do have to control it a bit. As you see, I, I've made some floating thermal lilies, that no different to normal ones, they're just floating, just for a bit of effect. Um, if I did the lava another way, I could make eight of these around an inner circle instead of four. But because I'm using blood magic, I can't really do that um, with these posts in the way. Otherwise, the lava will flow sideways, and I'm not sure if they will block it or not. Anyway, uh, they also don't work if I raise them one up. That would be nice if I could do that, but it seems they need to be in these, in these specific positions. So what I've got is... Um, first of all, I've got the lava into a, a Gaia Mana Spreader with a Phantom Lens, just like we've got in the Conjuration Room. That's going through a peripheral proxy into another Mana Pool, which is going into another Mana Spreader, which is going into the Conjuration Catalyst, well, through the Conjuration Catalyst into a Mana Pool. Why is this so complicated, you, say, you think? Well, I'm trying to get the actual redstone signal. To, I'm trying to read the Mana Pool to to create the signal. If I didn't need that, I could just simplify this into just one mana spreader and the mana pool with a conjuration catalyst underneath. As it is, I've put this middle buffer stage. So what's really happening here is if this mana pool isn't empty, that's important, if it isn't empty, a redstone signal gets sent out here and up and starts the ball rolling. If it is empty, nothing's going to happen. So the assumption here is that when this mana pool completely fills, this one is going to start uh, accumulating mana. It will send a signal that will go around and start dropping stuff. And now almost straight away now, that's going to use up some mana, which is then going to be transferred, and it's probably going to enter this pool, which will shut off the signal, and that will stop the, the, uh, the thing. So it should be self-governing at this point. Uh, at least I hope it's self-governing. Um, 
But in order to do that, we need to actually wait a little while um, for that to fill up, or we can cheat. Uh, well, not cheat, but we can go and visit our other room. I've labeled the uh, these, by the way. You just right-click on them, and you can label them. Uh, we need to... Ah, yes. Just borrow some of you. Um, sparing mana two items. Yes, please. Let, uh, should we grab that one? And I've put an elevator down here. And as you can see, I've just nicked that one and replaced it with an alchemy catalyst. So I can I can use the, the back one for the alchemy catalyst and the other ones for conjuration ones. Unfortunately, there's, there isn't one that does both because there's recipes for the same items, if you like, in both types. So, has that filled up? It has. Let's see if it, I hope this is enough. If not, I'm gonna have to make another trip. I don't want to make another trip. Uh, so, uh, what mode are you in? Accepting mana. Fine. Now, what I'm gonna do also is I'm gonna drop one piece of glowstone dust. Nothing's gonna happen to that. <laughs> Hopefully, doesn't like it until. Uh, well, first of all, this mana pool has to fill. looks like it nearly is yeah let's rub that back now what should happen is the next time one of those hop hot fires it should start filling that lower mana pool which should trigger and start pulling in this glowstone um, I don't want to be too near to it when it actually happens and unfortunately I can't really predict how long it's going to take for that to happen because I need, a, I need at least one redstone signal from that lower. What I could do is, if I leave that there, if I dig down temporarily, I can then try and jam this, <laughs> this remainder of the tablet on top of that if I'm really careful. There we go, I think. Has that been... Uh, I don't know where my tablet has gone. Ah, there you are. Oh, I'm terrible at this. Oh, come on. Oh, no, has that been killed? Oh, it's possible it's been killed. Oh, no. Ah, it has, it has actually drained some of it. There may not have been enough to trigger. Let's take a look. No, it's still not enough to trigger. Um, don't think I have another mana pool nearby. <laughs> Phil, come on, Phil. Yeah, that should be a quarter. That should be more than enough. Assuming I don't incinerate it, which is, frankly, a very real possibility. Fill that. Cool. I hope it. I hope this works. I did test it earlier. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. Oh, I'm terrible at this throwing thing. It'd be nice if I could just right click it. Take note, developer. Oh, I think it did. Oh, yeah, it did actually work. And above, I can just about hear it. You probably can't. It's triggering enough to start dropping glowstone, and it's duplicating from one glowstone. It's probably going to use all of that mana pool doing it. As you can see, it's still dropping, and it's going to continue to drop until this one, see that, that signal, until that empties. 
So right now, this mana spreader is doing its best to send everything upstairs. It's going to take a little bit of time to do that. It's to drain. But you can see it going down. In a minute now, it's going to start. It's going to empty, and we're going to see that turn off. Now these mana pools do have quite a bit. Let's wait for it to empty. Come on. You'll notice I'm not wearing my magnetism ring. Um, I wonder if you could turn it off. Well, it'd be nice to be able to shift click it somehow. Uh, I keep having to take the thing off. There are other magnets in the game that you can use that that can be turned on and off, but you know you just prefer to have to have it on most of the time. So that's nearly empty. Signal's turned off. There it is, it's empty. And all my glowstone is gone. You'll notice, however, I now have three and a half stacks of glowstone from one glowstone to start with. So what I can now do is create a way to get that out of the ME system and back in, leaving only a single piece of glowstone available or something along those lines and it'll auto duplicate or I could just leave this in here it will actually continue to work even with more than one you know it's just going to start dropping lots uh, as soon as that as soon as this fills up again so that's completely automatic and it works pretty much spot on which is pretty good but as I say I didn't build this um, on camera um, I went through it step by step because I am going to need to do something similar somewhere else, and so something new, I should say. So let's go and take a look. Uh, in fact, let's take a look in the book, first of all. One of the things that's changed is a new version of Britannia, and that has changed how certain things get made. Uh, in particular, Terra Steel. Now, it used to be just that beacon, if you remember, in the other buildings, a beacon. Now you require terrestrial agglomeration plate. Um, so, yeah, we're going to have to change a few things. Mana would need to be provided to block sparks in the most effective way. I already have a way to get... I already have a way to get mana to it. Um, assuming... Oh, that's a few runes. I may have some of those. Yeah, it's the same process at the end, but it requires some other bits and pieces. Let's go and take a look at the uh, the site, first of all. And this also has the thing of the unseen thing of getting rid of that beacon, finally. I didn't want a beacon in the base, but yeah, you know, that's good. So we can get rid of all of these. Oh dear. Yeah, don't let it touch that. <laughs> uh, they go crazy underneath trying to refill stuff. Uh, but I did get a block of mana steel out of it, which I needed anyway. Hmm. Complete luck or fail, you decide. So I need some lapis lazuli box. Let's see what runes we need. Rune fire, air, earth, water, and mana. I've got water. Got earth. I've got fire and air. Good. And what does mana need? Oh, that's actually a really easy one. Five mana steel and a mana pearl. Fine. Five mana steel and a mana pearl and a piece of living rock. And because of that, <laughs> the size of that pool underneath, well, it's full, mainly, most of the time. Uh, I make this quite fast. And give me... There we go. So we got the Rune of Mana. I only get one out of that, though. I don't get three like the others. Um, okay, so I just need some Lapis Lazuli blocks. Uh, all of you... 
and lapis we can get from the other side. What did it need? It said a checkerboard pattern of what? Living rock and more lapis lazuli -like blocks. It doesn't give me a pattern guide, so I'm not sure which way around checkerboard is supposed to be, or if it matters uh, which way around it is. Uh, I don't know. Um, beef recipe again. Uh, fire. Air, earth, water. There we go. Terrestrial agglomeration plate, and that's really hard to say. Uh, we need some living rock, which is going to be over here. Now, I don't know if it's five living rock at the corners, or if it's five lapis at the corners, so let's just give it a try. Maybe it doesn't matter, uh, which would be particularly good coding if that were the case. This will make a cross as well, so that will be interesting. So there we have that, and the terrestrial agglomeration plate. That kind of looks a heck of a lot nicer than the uh, the beacon. <laughs> Um, and what's the recipe for terra steel? It's a mana diamond, a mana pearl, and a mana steel, I think. Don't have my magnetism thing on, so let's give this a try. One, two, three. I don't end up picking it up. One, two, three. Hmm. Maybe just having a mana pool next to it really isn't enough. That's unfortunate. It does say I need to get mana to it. Uh, it's not going to be just local to it. I did recommend sparks, and I haven't really used those yet. Let's give that. It is a tad annoying, because <laughs> now I've got a mana pool here. <laughs> Um, yeah, I know what I'll do. Um, I'm going to break this, unfortunately. If I try to do it any other way, it's going to have problems. What I'm hoping is that Sparks will... I can have a many-to-one connection with sparks, just as I've got with these elven mana spreaders. So if I can put a spark above each one of these, and then one spark um, further up, then that should be better, I think. What's the recipe for sparks? Is it any eye? Yeah, it is. Uh, so I'm going to need five of these things, if that works, which... Uh, any colour of petal works, it seems. Gold nuggets and blaze powder, and I've got lots of blaze powder, so let's get uh, 10 of these and convert them. How many nuggets do I have? Two. Of course I do. Let's just get some of that. And those and some blaze powder. The other thing I'm a bit worried here is that if I have more than one, we're going to get some some effects where it's going to um, it's going to not share to the, it's not going to share to the plate right it's going to share to each other with the sparks so there are there are um, more advanced version of sparks that uh, are in the book let's try this first but if this doesn't work then that's okay uh, let's put these living rocks down again. Uh, 
And let's put plate down. And let's put a spark over you. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, that's not too bad. I was hoping not to have to have a spark, just to have this plate nicely in the middle of the base, but... Uh, yeah, any other way, I'd have to probably have to have a... a I wonder. I wonder, I wonder. What am I doing with a sp Gimme. Yeah. I wonder if I'm just being stupid. Um, I could just fire straight up at it. See if that works. Fine mode. You two. Oh, it's living rock. Hmm. But if I have a phantom lens, would that go right through? I think I have a spare one. Thought I'd made some earlier. Now uh, let's check. I did. Good. I didn't plan that at all. Uh, you just get two out of every recipe, and I happen to. Need one, so I get an extra one. Um, it's not doing anything, or is it? Hang on. Mm, maybe it doesn't need it until I put this stuff on here. So let's give this a try. Okay, so when the book says sparks are the most effective way of doing this, I mean, you're not doing it any other way. It doesn't matter what you think, you're doing it with sparks. <laughs> yeah. Damn it. Wish they'd make that clear. All right, so sparks it is. It's one, two, three, four. Let's hope this works without me having to go to dominant sparks, because that's what I could do. This could be dominant. Um, it's one of the advanced types. And it should pull in from the other sparks. I think that's what the dominant one does. There's also dispersive ones for the lower ones. You can play around with this all kinds of different ways. So uh, there will be a way to actually do it if this doesn't work. But I'm hoping it kind of does. Um, yes, it's working. Look at that. Particle effects. And I got Terra Steel. Fine. That's working. I'm happy-ish. Almost happy. What I really kind of like to do is make that automatic. Because, hey, I like automating things. And how are we going to do that? Well, we've already seen an item dropper kind of thing, uh, the open crate. So how, uh, what are we going to do here? Well, if I pop down here and head downstairs, these mana pools, as long as they have mana in them, <laughs> as long as they have mana in them, I can find out what the mana is. And assuming I've got enough room, there's going to be the peripheral proxy and then their comparator. So yeah, I do have enough room. Let's go and get some bits and pieces and see if we can do the similar kind of thing. I think there's some living wood, um, which of course I don't have because... Because... Yeah... Let's grab some of you. I'm really going to have to automate that. <laughs> I promise I'll get around to it. I promise. So yeah, as I said, it's a fairly simple recipe. You just make this... Sh uh, oh, it's planks, I think. Hang on. Yeah, there we go. Living with planks. So, if I replace... You, unfortunately... Uh...
view. A little bit less light in here, but I can soon fix that, at least temporarily, with one of these. I'll sort that further later. Uh, let's just put some stuff back. Any of you don't need the beacon anymore, thankfully. All the phantom lens, all the living wood, living wood planks. Mana tablet, mana pool. Yeah, I can get rid of a lot of stuff. So we're definitely going to need a, a comparator. Oh, and that's the Project Red version. And one of those. I'm going to need some red or wire. I've got seven. That's. Is that going to be enough? Um... Hmm. Let's make more. It may be enough, but there's no harm in making more. I don't have any red eye ingots. Oh, heck, let's just make a stack of the stuff. Not like we don't have... Uh, not like we don't have the resources. And speaking of resources... 40k iron now. I, I have shut off the mining machine. It, it, it's ridiculous at this point how much resources it creates. Uh, one thing I, it doesn't have though is uh, obviously it's not got any nether resources so I'm not getting any nether stuff. I could make another one in the nether. Mm, I'd rather take this approach. I mean this creates glowstone. That's one of the things. If I can get the other nether resources that commonly need like nether quartz. Yeah, who cares? Um, we don't need to create another one. Um, right, so red. Oh, hang on. Ah, yeah, that, that's just cooked up. That's how many it actually takes. So let's get a few of you. Got some redstone. Uh, redstone block might be useful. I'm going to want a, at least a, a chest. In fact, no. Uh, no, I want a barrel. I think I want a barrel. <laughs> Visually, a barrel would be good. Yeah. And... I actually want... Oh, more. Um, I also want some transfer notes. Uh, I'm short of transfer nodes. What do they need? I'm no longer short of transfer nodes. <laughs> uh, I do want some transfer pipes. Uh, oh. Need some stone slabs. Just make a stack of, well, mostly a stack. And uh, importantly, I want a hyper energetic, hyper rationing pipe, I should say, or three. Yeah, three should do it. And a chest. Mm. Yeah, a chest. So temporarily I'm going to build this up on the roof and the sun setting, of course it is. Um, I may well move this on downstairs, but I could just make an enclosure up here. What I'm, what I want, oh, uh, I knew I'd forgotten something, I need conduits. Uh, or do I? Yeah, I need conduits.
So what I'm going to need to do is insert one of each of three things into that open crate when there's a signal. The open crate will just do it whenever, and I, I'm also going to need a redstone signal here. So let's start by. Oh, I don't have many sides available to this. Ooh, this is going to be ugly. I can move this up one. Uh, so temporarily, let's just move you to here. And then I, I can enclose this, which is kind of what I wanted to do anyway. Um, I could even move this farm. So there's the block of redstone. What that's going to do is obviously do that 10 second before a hopper hop can pick stuff up. Which is good. Um, I'm also going to want to pipe into it, and I think I may do this from the side. Only one thick wall at the moment, but yeah, that, that'll do. Mm, this is going to stick up annoyingly. <laughs> oh well. No, no, no way around it for now. I, hear you. I could use a tesseract, but that would be an insane use of a tesseract. Uh, yeah, I don't want to do that. So uh, let's get started. And it's towards the end of the episode, so I don't want to make this too long. So let's get started. And I've forgotten the screwdriver and a peripheral proxy. But, you know, aside from that, everything's cool. Ow. Stupid roof. So those and a peripheral proxy. Should be just iron. Yeah, there we go. And if I hit this with, there we go. So it's it's pretty much saying right now, yeah, there's mana here. Go ahead. Um, from that, I want to use that signal to then trigger something else. So I'm going to need somewhere around um, a chest. Wonder, can I fit it here? Let's see if I can fit it here. So I want three barrels. And I want a chest. Uh, put it on top. No, can't put it on top. I may improve this design off. Yeah, off uh, off camera. On top of these, I want three transfer nodes. Uh, no, it needs to be higher, doesn't it? What did you? Ah. And we want a hyper rationing pipe. I think I only need one here. So what this is going to do is whatever is in these three, it's only ever going to keep one of whatever in that chest. Remember, we only want to drop one thing at once. Then I'm going to have to set up... Oh, what is going on? The chest isn't a full block. Mmm. Then I'm going to have to set up some system, and I may not be able to do that today. But to uh, pull out of here, um, where's my conduit? Uh, 
and you want to be always on insert. I know they're ugly. I'll figure it out somehow. Um, extract active only with signal. That's right. And the signal has to come up here to here. Should do it. Right, so that should be signaling now to drop stuff. So if I drop something in there, will that work? Why aren't you working? Oh, uh, yeah, that's not quite the out direction. Now that's annoying. <laughs> and there goes a hopper hawk. It shouldn't matter. It should really just transmit this, regardless. Uh, let's just test it anyway. I can always make more. There we go, so that should have dropped that redstone. And it has it sitting there on top of the platform. And I can use this to drop stuff that's in these barrels, for example, a mana steel, a mana pearl and a mana diamond into that chest, one of each will be kept in there when the pools below are full it will, well not empty, it will then send a signal to say drop them and they'll drop into here what I don't know is how well this will work because, um, let me just get some glass um, why can't I fly? can't fly I don't know why. Anyway, um, how well was I? Yeah, I don't know how well this will work. Um, mainly because I don't know what will happen if there's multiple of these uh, blocks on this. So that's what the system will do. It will drop multiple of these blocks straight down as long as that redstone signal is on. Uh, that shouldn't last for very long, but it does mean that there will be extra ingredients on here, particularly as it takes time for the terra steel to actually um, to work. So that's what I may need to do, you know, in a follow-up, well, next episode or something, figure out a bit of extra um, circuitry just to uh, delay this whole effect. I'll just fill it in with stone for now world's ugliest pipe ever. I just want to be able to see the the output and the shards more than anything else. I don't want stuff being sent everywhere, so... Right, let's see if this works, and then we'll end the episode. Uh, one of you, one of you, one of you. In fact, let's test it with two, because... Four. Yeah, four. Why not? Um, so, you, you, you. They'll each get pulled into the transfer nodes. And that's one done. I wonder if it will work with just the single chest or not. It's only dropping... Yeah, I think what's happening is that's being dominated by this. And for some reason it's... Oh, they're still there. Why aren't you pulling? I 
should really be working now, unless that's locked. Okay, so we did that, and then transfer nodes will you work? Yeah, there's something broken about this. I'm going to have to fix that between the episodes. That should be working. These should just be pulling these straight into the transfer nodes. If I, let, if I just delete you, what happens? Is it because this is out of the top? Well, it worked for the first one, so you would you wouldn't actually expect that that wouldn't matter a great deal. Was my uh... no? You're not having it. Uh, maybe world interaction upgrades. Give that a try. Off. Why can't I fly? It's so used to the thing. World interaction upgrade. <laughs> I need to fly. It. This is nice. Still not working. No idea why. I'll figure out why and come back to that next episode. But you get the idea. It is actually dropping stuff. I just need to refine how that's actually working. And then we should have an automatic system for making terror steel. Anyway. Um, thanks for watching. Feel free to subscribe if you want to see more videos. Uh, leave a comment or like. And um, yeah, we'll go from there. Thanks for watching. Quick addendum. I didn't mean to do this this episode, but it was just the redstone signal. It seems that the, uh, the barrels respond to redstone signals. Uh, or the, the transfer nodes do anyway. So um, with the redstone signal removed temporarily, it all works with just a single hypergenetic node. I seem to reroute that while uh, that redstone signal another way, just so it doesn't interfere with these cables. So I may well do this outside. Thanks for watching. Again. <laughs>